Hey there, people of the grid. Another summer night, another project. We took the one wheel out for a ride today. Sammy rode the boosted board and because my threads are showing on the one wheel, I figured I had a few more rides left. I pumped it full of air and look at what happened. The, the air just leaks out so it, it doesn't even, I think how far did I ride Sammy? Like five minutes, 10 minutes? Yeah. And it started really getting well. really, I could feel it. It was just getting super, super soft and hard to control. So we were more than, a little more than halfway home. So what we did was we switched boards. I had Samantha ride the one wheel with the flat tire yeah, and I rode the boosted board and uh, worked out pretty good that way. We got home safe and sound. Now we're gonna change the tires so I don't lose out on any time. This time around, cause this is my, I'm going on to tire three now. I actually had a spare tire on the shelf. I knew I needed to change it at some point. So I ordered one ahead of time. Oh yeah. And Sammy's gonna help me change the tire. All right guys, we're gonna start on the controller side. We're gonna remove the access panel so we can get to the cables. We're gonna remove that bumper on that side as well. Flip the board over and loosen the uh, weight sensor foot pad. And then we have to disconnect that weight sensor foot pad from the, from the controller. And it's, uh, you loosen off the uh, cable, pull it off, pretty straightforward. Same thing with the uh, controller cable and the connector set there. You gotta be careful with that white thing. Pull it out and then just pry it off. Then you're getting into the sides here. We take off these guards off the uh, both ends of the tire. The cable stay on the arm there comes off. And then we're ready to go back to the other side and start loosening the tire. Four big bolts, two on each side, come out. Breaking that first speed took a half an hour the first time. It took about 10 minutes this time. <clears throat> Got that? Yeah. That opposite bead just took a couple of seconds. Okay. Now removing the tire, this takes a while. Uh, it can take like half an hour. I think the first time I did it, it took a long time. You've got to find there's a groove in the middle of the rim and you, you pull the tire into that groove in the rim so that it can make the, make it easy to pull it off just like I did there. The other side's a lot easier. You just kind of push and uh, it comes out pretty easy. Next, we're gonna clean up all the slime that sort of gathered on that uh, rim. Get it all uh, out of there because we're gonna be putting in some new fresh slime and we want it nice and clean for the new tire. Does it make it slippery? Yeah. You're gonna get it through the other side. Getting the tire on the other side of this rim, again, the trick is getting part of the, the tire into that groove on the rim. It took forever. Nice. All right, to get the first part on, that took me a good five minutes. Actually, the first part's easy. The second part is hard, but there is that trick to it where you put it into that groove and then you have to get it over so that it actually goes in. But there we go, ready to go one wheeling. Nah, just kidding. Now I'm just gonna straighten out the tire and then we have to reseat both the beads, pressure it up put some goop inside, then we're ready to ride. Now the trick here is just to get the tire to, to seal basically so that when we put air into it, it'll hold the air. So I'm just kind of moving it around so it's positioned on the rim. 
such that it holds air when I go to inflate it. Now I'm just spraying some Windex on both sides of the rim so that when I go to see, seat the bead, it'll slip on easier. The safe way to do this is to remove the valve stem. I didn't do that, but it's a lot safer to remove it. I like to ride my tire anywhere from 17 to 24 PSI. I'm going to run at 24. All right, we're on the home stretch. Clean up the tire and get it remounted into the board. That means putting in the four uh, holding screws, two on each side, get them nice and tight. We're going to seat the cables, tighten them up, and uh, we'll do a test run before we close it all up just to make sure that everything's connected properly. All right, here's the big test. We're gonna uh, fire it up. Now, when you press the button, you wanna see a light, and uh, there it is, nice blue light, looking good so far. Hop on, uh, oh, hop on, hop on, there we go. Got power, board's moving, everything is looking good. So we can close this thing up and call it a day. Now, when I bought my one wheel, it came without a wheel cover. A lot of people ride them without the cover. I like having it because it prevents any little rocks or dust from being kicked up into my uh, shoes. Uh, I found when I didn't have the cover, I, my shoes were just getting so dusty, little rocks were being dumped in there. Plus now I got a place to put a whole bunch of cool stickers. So I like the cover. Yep. Yeah, thank you. Oh yeah, right where we left off about an hour ago. Not even, I think we did that inside of an hour. Much easier the second time you're doing it. So I'm not gonna ride it too much. I wanna go get that goop stuff because uh, I want the tire protected right away, but uh, yes. Can't remember if I showed you or not, but here's the uh, the old tire. See the treads that we're showing through? So yeah, it was barely holding air for like five minutes. That's when you know it's time to change the tire. Whoa, just inside for supper. But before I do that, I wanted to give you guys an update. So the first tire, the one that came with the one wheel, that one carried me 1,223 kilometers. And uh, it probably should have gone longer. It didn't because when I first got the one wheel, I was so excited to ride it. I didn't inflate it to the right PSI. So I think I was riding it on about 12 to 14 PSI for a long time. Way too squidgy. It wore the tire prematurely. So not bad though, 1,223 kilometers. 
Then I changed over to the second tire and that one took me up to uh, 3,521 kilometers. The total traveled on that tire was 2,298, 2,298 kilometers, which is almost double the, the distance I got on that first tire. That one was inflated properly pretty much all the time. And I rode it everywhere on asphalt, on sidewalks, on grass and on gravel. Got the new tire on today. We'll see how far this one goes. We're uh, coming into fall, so I'll try and ride it as much as I can until snow hits the ground and then we'll park it for the winter. But uh, man, that one wheel's awesome. The thing to keep in mind, if you're buying one and you live anywhere out of California, you might be doing that tire change that I just did by yourself. Reason is it's so expensive to ship it, especially for me, I'm here in Canada, to ship that one wheel to California just for a tire change by Future Motion, not worth it. So uh, it's doable on your own. It's a little bit of hard work, especially getting that tire on and off. That's the hardest part in the uh, get it breaking the bead. But um, there's a number of videos out there. I'll just add this one to the list and that should help you guys get through it all. So happy one wheeling. We'll go for a ride uh, maybe even tomorrow. Biker out. Oh.